Hey, welcome back to Skinny Scatter. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to sharpen your knife. Let's get started. So I'd like to start by saying that there are a million different ways that you can sharpen your knife. There's really, really easy ways to sharpen your knife that yield you decent results with a decently sharp knife. There's really, really expensive and complicated ways to sharpen your knife that have razor sharp results. Um, the way I'm going to show you is kind of a middle ground between that and I feel like it's the best for me and for a lot of scouts because it's just a really simple way to do it that yields you very, very sharp knives. So what we're going to be using is the Lanxi sharpening system. Now everything I show in this video, I will put links down in the description if you want to pick it up. So basically how this works is you have a clamp here and you put your knife in it and these bars hold these stones at a certain angle so you can just scrub these stones on your blade without having to worry about having your blade at the right angle. So before we sharpen the knife, we kind of need to determine why the knife is becoming dull. Now, a knife becomes dull when the bevel, which is the very tip, um, kind of curves over on itself. It rolls over, and that creates a kind of rounded tip there that is not going to allow you to cut through things very easily. Now, what we're doing when we're sharpening it is we're bringing that bevel back straight up and taking a little bit of metal off in the process to get the tip of it nice and sharp, just like that. So today I have two knives that I need to sharpen. I have a Spyderco Endura 4, and I also have a Benchmade Bugout. Now, with the Endura 4, I'm going to show you how to sharpen a dull knife. And with the Benchmade Bugout, I'm going to show you how to just kind of touch up a knife that's already somewhat sharp. Alright, so I went ahead and pulled everything out. Now, the next step is we need to assemble the stones. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up the screw on the back of them. And with the small part of the L-shaped bar, we're going to put that in there. Now, I want to make sure this is level, so I'm going to set it on a flat surface. And go ahead and tighten that sucker up. And I'm going to do that with all of them. And then you should end up with just a stone with a, a bar on it. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and put our knife in the clamp here. Now, as you can see, I've put electrical tape on the inside of the clamp here. Now, that is because that this is metal, and from my experience, it has scratched up quite a few of my knives, especially the ones with the black coating on the outside. So just that little bit of electrical tape prevents that. Really simple fix. So to go ahead and put this in here, we're going to loosen all of these things up. You got a knob here and then a screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen both of those up. Then we're gonna open our knife and we're going to put it in there about a fingernail's width lined up on the main blade there. I'm not sharpening the serrated, I'm just doing the plain edge. So right about there should be good. So now I'm gonna flip this thing over and I'm gonna tighten the red knob first. Then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the screw here. Now that we have our knife in our clamp here, we can now figure out the angle of the edge. And why that is important is because if you think about it, if you're not sharpening perfectly on that edge, you're either gonna be taking material off the very bottom of the bevel there or at the very top. And you wanna make sure you have that aligned. And that's the big problem that a lot of people have with whetstones is they can't get the angle correct. So what I'm going to do to find the angle is I'm just going to take a Sharpie and I'm just going to mark on the silver part of the blade here. And I'm just going to go all along there. Sweet. So now that we have the blade marked, we can go ahead and find the angle. Now how I'm going to hold this is on the back here. I'm just going to put this in the palm of my hand and just hold it like that. I'm sharpening the other side, do the same thing, hold it like that. Really simple, no real danger of you getting cut at all here because you're always, your hand is always out of the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this blue fine stone and I'm going to stick it in 20 degrees because that is a fairly common blade angle. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly rub this across my sharpie mark and I'm going to see 
where it ends up taking that off. Now, as you can see, it took it off completely. Now, if it was only taking it at the bottom, I would know that my blade angle is too steep. And if it was only taking it at the top, I would know that my blade angle is too shallow. So how we're gonna sharpen this is I'm gonna start with the coarse grit and I am going to just start at the very top of the stone here. And as I push back on it, I'm gonna work my way to the very back there, just like that. Once I do that, 10 to 15 times um, on this side, I'll go ahead and flip it over and do it 10 to 15 on that side. Once I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna switch to the next stone and then the next stone and then the next one and then the final one. And then I'll come back and show you guys what we do from there. So how do you know when to switch up to a finer grit of stone? Well, when using any of these stones, it creates tiny little gashes in your metal. The coarser stones create bigger gashes and the finer stones create finer gashes. So using a magnifying glass, you can see those gashes in your metal. If you still have gashes in your metal from the previous grit, you know that you need to spend a little bit more time with your current grit. If your scratches on your blade are very consistent throughout, you know that you can switch up to the next one. Two hours later. All right, so I'm on my final stone and I've already used it a little bit, but I am just going to very lightly use this stone and I'm just gonna rock it back and forth. There, you don't really need to deliberately keep going like this and pushing straight into the blade. You can kind of just, it's almost like you're polishing the blade. So this next step is optional because now that I've sharpened this knife, it is already extremely sharp. Like I can just take small little slivers off of this piece of paper and it will shave my hair super easily, uh, nice and clean. Now, the next step, like I said, is optional and that is gonna be to use a leather strop. And this kind of gives it the final little touch to make it nice and razor. Now, you can buy these off Amazon, they're like 10 bucks. I'll put a link again in the description, but you wanna get one that has a leather side and a um, denim side. Now you're gonna start on the denim side and instead of pushing into the, um, the denim, like you do with the stones, you're gonna go away from it. So I'm just gonna start with a very little angle and I'm just gonna swipe out and then I'm gonna turn it over and swipe back in. I'm gonna do that 10 times. All right, once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this thing over to the leather side and do the same thing 10 times. All right. So now we can check and see that this knife is still about the same sharpness, although it's slightly sharper. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to sharpen a slightly sharper knife that, you know, isn't in as much of disrepair. So here's the bug out. It is fairly sharp. I mean, it can, it can still cut through paper, um, but it will not take off hair like the other one will. All right, I have the bug out in the clamp here. Now I'm gonna start with the finest grit because this is already fairly sharp. Um, anyway, so I'll, this one is also 20, 20 degrees and I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with the last one. All right, now that I used my stones, I'm gonna go ahead and take this knife out of here and we're gonna go ahead and strop it just like we did with the last one, starting with the denim side and then the leather side, same thing, 10 strokes. And what you're left with is a very, very sharp knife. This thing can cut curves now. So that is very, very sharp and it can also cut my hair. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. If something's not working for you, I can probably help you out. So just, just let me know. I will try to respond. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now. So that is very, very sharp, and it can also cut my hair. And my skin, apparently. Yeah, as you can see, the bug out is um, extremely sharp.